Hey doc, what do I do to treat a cow that's eating too much corn? Timing is of the essence in this situation, Generic Rancher Ron, as when the cow eats too much grain, what happens is, is it's broken down quickly in her rumen. This drops the pH of not only her rumen, but the rest of her body rapidly. This pH drop will cause long-term ramifications such as digestive ailments or lameness, if of course that immediate overconsumption of grain does not kill her in the very near future. For cows in this situation, I try multiple modes of therapy immediately. We have to correct the pH, we have to correct the inflammation that results from the low pH, and then we also have to consider that the damage to the outside, to that lining of her rumen allows bacteria to escape outside of the rumen into the rest of her body, which of course could set up a septicemia that would kill her in addition to the low pH that can possibly kill her. So to address each of these, the first thing I like to do is treat with banamine. Banamine is a good anti-inflammatory that will help get that inflammation down quickly so that we can try to counteract some of the damage that's caused by the low pH. The second thing I like to do is tube them with a Magnolax. This Magnolax is a basically Malox for cows, you could say, that is an antacid as well as a laxative. This helps by trying to raise the pH that was lowered through the grain overload as well as increasing the transit of that grain out of the cow quickly. If we can get it out of her sooner, that means that we can have less negative ramifications. Now, in addition to these, I like to treat with an antibiotic because we know that this cow is going to have some bacterial, leak bacterial leakage outside of the rumen into her general body, which we don't want. Many times I'll use uh, different types of antibiotics, but I typically will use things along the lines of ampicillin or penicillin because these antibiotics, in addition to being a little less expensive, also are very effective against many types of bacteria that we see in this leakage into the rest of the body from the rumen. And as I said, in this situation, timing is of the essence. So if you have a situation like this and are looking for some veterinary help, feel free to reach out to our veterinarians at Sioux Nation Ag Center. We have emergency services in the areas located near our vet clinics across Southeast South Dakota so that we can help you through these situations to try to get these cows back to health and feed to your bottom line. Now folks, one way to keep this from happening if this is something you're concerned about in turning cows out on corn stalks is to have your electric fence set up so they can only graze so much of that cornfield at a time. That way they can't just go seek out the individual big piles of corn and cause grain overload all at once. We have that available at Sioux Nation Ag Center in the form of Gallagher Electric Fencing. So reach out to our different locations about our electric fencing op options. And of course, always like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you later.